students so now we are ready with the new topic of the chapter crop production of class 8 the new topic is harvesting and threshing before this topic we went through right before this i have gone through step by step i had made you understand about the protection of crops protection is done when the crops are growing when the crops fully grown up or when the crops turn into golden brown color then it is said that crops is ripen and then cutting is done that ripen crops are cut this is what is called harvesting so cutting of ripening crop is called harvesting this process this harvesting process may be done manually with the help of sickle or with the help of combine when any farmer has a small piece of land they go through manually by using sickle they cut near the root of the plant near the root of the plant and collect the crops but when there is a large area if the field is very big and the crop is grown in a very big area then it is a bit difficult to cut the crops in a day or twice or thrice it takes lots of time so to prevent the time loss farmers use combine combine is a machine and you know this combine can go through for harvesting as well as threshing both harvesting and threshing both what do we mean by threshing threshing is the process by which grains are removed from the crop plants threshing is the process in which grains are removed this is what the crop plants and you must have seen in this crop plants such kind of grains are there crop is full of grains so these grains are removed from the plants this process is called threshing and you know this combine the machine what i am speaking about this combine can go through both the processes harvesting as well as threshing when harvesting is done do you know what do farmers see farmers even see the the ratio of or the percentage of moisture in the plants as it is told that 14% moisture when it is left in the plant then it is cut around 14% of moisture is needed at the time of harvesting so this combine go through both the processes harvesting as well as threshing but there is a drawback of combine when combine go through the harvesting you know what it does it never cut the plants near the root it cuts the plant near from where the grains have grown so this is what the drawback of combine but it saves this combine saves time and labor both these both are saved by combine as i have made you understand harvesting harvesting we may go through manually we may go through with the help of sickle or combine like this only threshing how do we remove these grains you know when threshing is done manually nothing to do just take the bundle of crop plants and striking against any hard surface maybe stone maybe wooden platform maybe wooden platform or maybe a cemented platform which is a bit higher on which what we do we strike this plant plants crop plants that is bitter so what happened this grains get removed from the plants and this process is called threshing this threshing combine can also do so separating the grains from crop plants called threshing it means what after harvesting threshing is done and the grains are collected now there is one more process to remove the grains from chaffs and hay हे मीन्स भूसा होता है हे का मतलब होता है भूसा तो अब है कि हमने तो ग्रेन्स को प्लांट से निकाल लिया अब उस ग्रेन में से दाने निकालना अनाज के दाने निकालना और उनकी कवरिंग को उनके भूसे को अलग करना सो टू रिमूव और द 
separation of gram grains from chaffs the separation of grains from chaffs or hay is called winnowing is what known as winnowing at home you know you must have seen your mother many of the times removing hay and small small uh, unwanted substances present in the rice or pulses wo soup leti hain aur soup se dano ko phatakti hain is phatakne ko kehte hain winnowing this is what is known as winnowing so this we knowing but when we remove chaffs or hay from the grains then this is what known as this is done in a large manner a good quantity of grains are winnowed this is called winnowing ha huh. so with the help of air this winnowing can be done with the help of air what farmers do they take a good amount of grains move their hands up and start throwing their grains down and with the help of blowing air what happen the lighter weighted or the light weighted chaffs and the hay they they fall down away from the grains why because grains are heavier than the chaffs and hay so what happen with the help of air what happen when they are throwing these grains down then this chaffs and hay fall down away from the grains and grains are separated this is what the process of winnowing but this winnowing can also be done by the machine and that machine is known as winnowing machine that machine is what known as winnowing machine so today we have learned about harvesting and threshing so almost we are going to complete the crop production uh, step by step now one thing is left in crop production and that is storage of crops or storage of grains so in my next video i i will be explaining about the storage of grains i hope you people have liked this so please keep watching and go through this complete video of harvesting and threshing thank you all of you